Hi, welcome back. So, in previous session, we had a discussion about uh, right. So, let's try to discuss about minimum order value. This is also one of the key important uh, promotion or condition type, whatever you call it. But this is very, very important. It is going to have effect on your net value. Okay. So, uh, for this also, you we have manual and automatic. So both are important. So manual, when we required, like, you know, your regular sales order process flow is going on, sales order created before your price approval. Okay. Uh, so let's assume the minimum order value should be like, you know, 500 euros. Okay. But if it is less than that, you can able to enter one header condition. You try to make the net value. Okay. So in the similar way, we can able to do automatic. That is also very, very important. I have seen uh, in manufacturing project. Okay. Uh, let's try to quickly go back to SAP screen. Okay. I'm just trying to log in to SAP. This is S4 HANA 2020. Everything is happening. So prices wise, uh, there is no, I mean, we have a certainly few differences, not much differences in S4 HANA. Those changes also we'll discuss. Let's try to learn the concepts. This is very important. So let me try to go to the condition type. Okay. So you see order value, this is the condition type, order value, you can see this, so this is a header condition, no access sequence, but it is a group condition. So for example, if you enter three line items out of which, uh, like if you are expecting uh, certain, uh, certain net value after applying all discounts and taxes, okay. So then you are going to use this one, okay. This is the header condition. Uh, so this is amount percentage. Let's try to go below. Okay. Nothing else because this is a header condition, right? There is no access sequence. There is no such criteria and everything for this, but it is like, you know, fixed amount. You can able to enter it. So let's try to go back to the standard procedure. Okay. So let's try to check this one. So you have all your discounts and there is this order value. Okay. So this is a manual condition. You can able to enter it this. Okay. We will try to check this one how it works. Okay. Slash n v slash 08. Okay. Let me try to place this uh, condition in our pricing procedure. So let's try to So let's come here. This is our pricing procedure. Let's try to place this uh, HM00. Okay. Uh, probably like uh, I'll pay, place somewhere around 700 HM00. Okay. Let's try to keep this one. Yes. Okay. So all the header conditions are manual conditions. Let's tick this one. <coughs> Sorry. Now let's try to create a sales order now. Okay. Since this is a header condition, so you don't require any, uh, what I would say, condition records. Okay. 
order value header condition. So let's enter some materials. I'm entering one quantity. Okay. So 154, let's try to enter another one quantity. Okay, 584. Okay, let's try to understand this. So if you come to conditions, okay, 241, this one, net value, and 342, this is the net value. Okay, if you go back, all put together, total net value header level, it is 584. <coughs> I'm sorry. Okay, let's go to the condition. Let me show you. This is 584. Okay. So, but our company objective is minimum order value should be like somewhere like 1000. Okay, where is the amount? Okay. Press enter. Okay, it's not at activated. Let's select this and activate so now thousand got applied what exactly happened you try to observe this all condition got inactivated directly it will take the net value this one this is the advantage okay it is at a header level let's try to check if i do the same thing item level also all conditions will be inactivated okay let's come here you can see hf00 okay so you can able to see for line item 10 also the similar story. This is how, see how it is got distributed. This is 586 and this is 413. Why it is happening? Because group condition, okay? I will try to update this course like if you have any doubts okay apart from what i am currently recording you can post your queries if you have any doubts okay i, I just need some time whenever i find a time like you know i'll just concentrate on that definitely i will help you out this is as for hana we're recording now you can see this this is the group condition okay this is how you can able to do uh, control order value on the sales order in the similar way, you can able to do the same thing automatic. Okay. So that we are going to see in the next session. Thank you. Have a great day.